Durban is located on the east coast of South Africa, in the province of KwaZulu-Natal and in the municipality of Etikweni. It is the third largest city in South Africa and the busiest port in Africa. Durban is also a major centre of tourism due to its warm subtropical climate and beaches. The population of the Etikweni municipality is about 3.5 million people. Approximately 1 million live in townships. Approximately 1.3 million live in shacks in slums and rural areas, 800,000 of which live in extreme poverty. The basic form of on-site sanitation in South Africa is ventilated improved pit latrines, or VIPs. The VIPs have a superstructure and the pits are commonly lined in order to prevent environmental contamination at high underground water. They have a tall vertical vent pipe with a fly screen fitted on the top. The vent pipe provides odour and fly control. In Etikweni, household VIPs are usually provided and serviced by the municipalities in the townships, slums and rural areas. Yes, this pilot project um, it did lead to the ultimate programme. The programme that we have in place at the moment whereby the pit latrine owner will have his pit latrine emptied every five years, once every five years. The current program that we have for pit emptying is, is, is run by a managing consultant who oversees the operation. Underneath him, he has a managing contractor who has subcontractors working for him. Uh, each subcontractor has approximately six crews, and in that crew, there is approximately five to six people. My name is Tumisani Machozi. I represent a company called Abapumeleli Trading. Basically, we specialize in clearing of VIP pit latrines. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, number one. You're on the front, you know. We talk. In about 2005, we embarked on a project here to empty pit latrines, um, VIPs, that is, ventilate and proof pit latrines. And 
halfway through the project, we had a problem in as much as we had nowhere to dispose of the sludge. After show, closing down as two treatment works, we realized that you can't take VIP sludges to a treatment works. It's not designed for that. We then started thinking and we came up with a design, or we, we produced a, a, a machine called the DEPA, which stands for Latrine Dehydration and Pasteurization. Um, and this machine basically separates the sludge from the detritus, which is very difficult in normal circumstances. Uh, it is then deposited at the end of the belt into a heap of pellets, which is then bagged for agricultural use. The Depa machine is located at the wastewater treatment plant in Tongart, a town located 40 kilometers from Durban. The Depa is an abbreviation for latrine dehydration and pasteurization. The machine can dry and pasteurize the fecal sludge collected from ventilated improved pit latrines within the Etiquini municipality. The first step to operating the LADEPA is to start the diesel generator, which provides the electricity and heat necessary for processing the VIP sludge. The LADEPA should then be turned on and the process parameters adjusted on the control panel. Fecal sludge is fed into the Ladepa heating section in the form of pellets produced by an extruder. After extrusion, the pellets are conveyed by a mechanical belt into the preheating zone, where they come into contact with the hot exhaust gases from the diesel engine. The pellets then pass into the drying zone where they are exposed to infrared radiation from the banks of two successive emitters. At the end, dried and pasteurized pellets are produced. The dried and pasteurized pellets can be handled more safely with minimum pathogen risk. The pellets are collected and stored in bags. They can be used as a fertilizer, a soil improver, or used as a biofuel. The municipality have created a test and evaluation centre where we were able to process large quantities of different excreta streams at a pilot scale. We are now here on the Newlands and Comarche research site. A research site where we work together in the Queen Municipality, different departments, there's the water and sanitation department, the infrastructure management department which looks at the agricultural site and the University of Kwasulu Natal. The potential use of Ladepa pellets as a fertilizer for crop production was investigated in a study and compared to other fertilizers. Laboratory and tunnel experiments were carried out to determine nitrogen and phosphorus release patterns in maize and soybean in different soil types. Experiments were carried out using three fertilizer sources, struvite produced from urine, Ladepa pellets from VIP sludge and single superphosphate. Three different soil types were used, sandy soil, acidic soil, not limed, and clay soil. The Ladepa pellets demonstrated potential as a soil fertilizer that provides nitrogen and phosphorus across a wide variety of soil types. The basic form of on-site sanitation in South Africa is ventilated improved pit latrines, or VIPs. In Durban, the VIPs are provided and serviced by the Etiquini municipality, and there are around 35,000 of these. In Durban, VIPs are usually emptied manually every three to five years using pit emptying contractors. This is a service provided by Etiquini municipality. After pit emptying, the sludge mixed with detritus is transported in sealed containers to a fecal sludge treatment facility. 
the latrine dehydration and pasteurization machine. During the treatment process, the detritus is separated from the sludge. Then in the form of pellets, the fecal sludge is treated by exhaust gas heating and infrared radiation. The final product is dried, pathogen-free pellets that are valuable as a soil conditioner or fertilizer. Agricultural research trials are currently ongoing using Ladepa pellets from VIP sludge. During the entire chain process, from pit emptying to transportation and treatment, health and safety procedures and the personal use of protective equipment are of high importance. Most common challenges are 1. Fast filling rates related to trash disposal into the pits by the users, resulting in more frequent need of pit emptying. 2. The mechanised pit emptying is constrained by the high solids content of the sludge, 20% or more, and the trash content in the pits, 15 to 25%. Three, to find the economically viable and at the same time safe treatment solution of the faecal sludge. And four, valorization of the product. It's been a long time living in fear and pain Killing one another like we really don't care I wonder what will happen if my people lost dreams For God to fill the spirit like an angel lost swings For this world brings destruction we all seek Now we gotta make sure it stays still, it stays free Spirit of a world to challenge our stay still